Well, I probably don't have to explain where I'm at with that scene, do you? That's right, we are in San Francisco. That was the Golden Gate Bridge. This is Craig. We are on a journey from Canada all the way down to Mexico, taking radiation readings along the beaches of the West Coast, U.S. West Coast, and posting them as videos on YouTube. This happens to be episode number 17, San Francisco. Uh, behind me here, we are on the west side of the Golden Gate Bridge, meaning out that direction is the Pacific Ocean. And since it's not windy, and I'm going to give it a chance to talk about something here, 50 miles offshore for me, there's a very special place in radioactive history, if you will. Uh, yes, about 50 miles away from here is something called the Farallones Island. Maybe it's called, maybe it's pronounced Farallonis. I'm not sure. The Farallones Island, about 50 miles offshore, offshore from here, from San Francisco. Between the years of 1946 and 1970, approximately 4,000, I'm sorry, not 4,000, 47,500 barrels, 55-gallon drums, of radioactive waste was dumped out there into the ocean. Uh huh. Why aren't the Fukutards screaming about that? Well, maybe they didn't know about it. Well, maybe now they're going to find out about it. Yeah, you need to do some research, you Fukutards. You're screaming about Fukushima, and yet we got that going on out there. However, most of the radioactive decay would have already been, would have already been decayed by about 1980, All everything that's out there. So do I expect to find high radiation readings here? I don't. We'll find out together, but I don't expect it to be. But the point is, there are a lot of other things than pointing the finger at Japan about being the uh, mass extinction event or whatever they want to call the, the Fukutars call it. There's a lot of other things going on too. We'll be to cover some of those. And not only that, in that same area offshore, about 50 miles from here, off, off, in, off the Pacific Ocean here, off, off of uh, San Francisco, in 1951, uh, after uh, Operation Crossroads, the USS Independence was actually scuttled offshore. It was highly radioactive, it was co contaminated, so they decided to scuttle the ship. And guess what? On board, they put more radioactive waste barrels on board too, and sunk it off 50 miles offshore here. Uh, you can go ahead and keep screaming about Fukushima if you want. There's other things going on. And now the Fukutars are going to find out if they bother to watch this video. Anyway. Uh, I guess enough of my rant. We are going to begin the test here now. You have to be, be here. We have basically no beach. Uh, where I'm standing right now is basically just rocks. So uh, slippery at that. I'm going to be very careful here. I'm going to get close to the water, but I probably won't be able to get right up to the water because a wave could come out. And so anyway, uh, let's start the test. The Geiger counter has been on probably close to a half an hour now, so we should have a really good read. And I already fell. I already slipped. But I'm okay. I didn't hurt, bust any knees or anything. Here's the Geiger counters. Let me wake up the Mazur. Wake up. Okay. Currently, eight micro -rentkins, 26 counts per minute. That's the current readings. Now, 13 micro -rentkins, 26 counts per minute. That's the readings we have uh, presently, right now, on the rocks on the beach. Now, I don't have to do much walking, but I do have to be very careful here. I'm going to get closer to water. But as you see, these rocks are moss-covered and very, very slick. So please bear with me. But in the meantime, seven micro Rankins, 23 counts per minute. It's like ice covered here. Okay, we're very close to the water now. Two micro Rankins, 23 counts per minute. And uh, some people think the radio water is going to be radioactive. Of course it's not, but some people think it is, so I'll get it near the water. We're right above it now, but i got to watch for waves coming. And you see currently... 10 micro rentkins on the Missouri. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. 17 micro, 17 counts per minute. Gotta reactivate the Missouri. Currently 10 micro rentkins and 17 counts per minute. Ah, see now that my foot just got wet. Six micro rentkins. Now four micro rentkins, 20 counts per minute. And let me switch here to. Let me show you something. Okay, average. Maximum was only 16 micro rentkins and during that time period on the Missouri. I can do maximum and minimums. So I've got a maximum of 16 micro rentkins that whole time. And how long was that? Let's see. Elapsed time 24 minutes. So the Missouri tells me this has been on for 24 minutes. And uh, the, the highest I ever got, currently 10, average 11, maximum 16. 
Okay, so there's our average. We're gonna go with the average. We're gonna put the average down below in the box, the description box. Now let's try the GQ. Oops, wrong mode. Okay, this one's a little difficult sometimes. Text mode, 18.12. Average, 18.2. We're gonna go with 18.2. And switch it now back to uh, large font. And switch this back to current as well. Maximum current. Okay, so currently we have 13 microrentkins, 17 counts per minute. Doesn't look like there's a big problem here, now does it, folks? Even with all that radioactive waste dumped out in the ocean. And in fact, if you do some research, you're going to find, as I attempt to walk this slippery path, if you do some research, you're going to find that uh, a whole lot more radioactive waste was dumped by 13 countries. 13 different countries, nuclear countries, between the years 46 and 1993, until Treaty put a stop to that. Okay, we're still walking towards our, our final reveal. Ha, ah, somebody left a plate on the beach. I wouldn't imagine that. Okay, 10 microrentkins, 22 counts per minute. And, of course, no shielding has been used in the making of this video. And also, since we're here, I'm going to move this towards a little more level. Unfortunately, now you can't see the levels. You can't see the numbers. Yeah. Okay. I want to show you something here. If I get my... Okay. Right about there, about 900. Between... Uh, it's too far now, but anyway. A lot of people are asking what these numbers mean. And unfortunately, it's going to go well too far. Okay, but... I'm about two inches away from the, the detector here. At about... At anywhere between around 700, 800 counts per minute is what you would expect to experience if you flew in a commercial jet airliner at 35,000 feet. That's right. Somewhere around 700, 800 counts per minute of an average. It's, I've done it. An average is what you receive on a commercial flight at about 35,000 feet. So, all you fuku tards saying any radiation is deadly or anything over 20 counts per minute is deadly, or 100 even. Okay, show me the evidence of airline stewardesses and pilots coming down with cancers because they're at that altitude and that, let me react to this, they're at that altitude uh, and that levels of radiation for a good number of hours of their day and many, many thousands of hours during their careers. So show me cancer incidences of airline pilots and airline stewardesses. Come on, you can find it. Radiation is deadly, right? You can find it. Show me. Boxes below. Thanks for watching. Comment below. So long.